going on YouTube? Jack Armstrong, Jack Daddy Customs coming at you today with another DIY project. I'm going to show you how you can build these awesome fish attractors with just a few things you probably got laying around the barn. Uh, maybe a few things you can go buy at the hardware store. But these are things that won't rot away like a tree stump and they'll last for years and years and years providing habitat for those fish. All right, YouTube, these are the fish attractors that we are going to build today. And uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do is to round up our supplies. So let me walk you through what we're going to need. First thing you're gonna need is a big, giant tractor tire. The next thing you're gonna need is a big, giant piece of pipe. Then you're gonna need a big, giant roll of pecs or something like it. We got some 3 8 inch pecs. You could use like uh, some of that black poly tubing. Uh, go check out my other video. I'll link it in the description. Uh, in my other video, I use some black poly tube and it works fine. Any kind of plastic pipe will be good. And then last but not least, we're going to need some tools to put it all together. So we've got our stainless steel bolts. we got something to cut the pecs with. we got a drill with a 3 8 inch bit. we got a saw to cut the PVC pipe with. And then we've got an angle grinder with a sanding disc. That's going to help us rough up the pipe so algae and stuff will be able to grow on it. All right, folks at home, real quick, I just want to tell you about something really cool. If you're watching this video, chances are you like to fish, and I have written a book about fishing. If you got some kids that are helping you with your projects, maybe you can reward them by giving them this book. Maybe you read it to your kids at night, whatever it is. This is an awesome book that teaches some quality character traits. It teaches a lot about adventure, and there's a bunch of fishing adventure in there. So uh, don't just make your pond better, make your kids better, and uh, read a book to them. Uh, go check these out. I'll put that uh, link in the, um, the description. Go check it out. Boom. First thing we got to do is cut this piece of PVC pipe in half, roughly in half. Of course, you can measure. I choose to do it by eye. I think half is about right in here. The next thing we gotta do is attach the pipes to the tire. So the way we're gonna do it is put one kind of facing up like this, and the other side will go the opposite direction. And the best way to do it is just drill holes through this and through the pipe. And uh, you know, you might wanna drill the top side a little bit bigger hole so that you can fit your tools down in there to tighten it up or whatever. But then uh, we're gonna use big washers, stainless steel bolts, whatever, and we're gonna bolt it to the tire. So two bolts at the top, two bolts at the bottom. There's no easy way to get to the ones at the bottom. You just gotta use your, I mean, you gotta have to bend down in there, get back in the tire or whatever. Uh, but it's imperative that you put two bolts per side. All right, once you get it to this point, the hard work's done. So getting these bolted on is the hardest part, no doubt. But you see, I got one going from the bottom on one side of the tire to the top on the other side of the tire, shooting out this way, and the other one's shooting out that way. The next thing we gotta do is to drill a bunch of holes. So uh, we're gonna drill starting about right in there. We want this to be like a top of a tree, just sitting up with all the branches for all those little fish to be able to hide under, and then the big fish will hide behind that. But anyway, we wanna drill a bunch of holes, and we wanna alternate them. Uh, so you don't want them coming from the same side everywhere. You won't have any kind of branch effect. It'll just be pipes sticking out in the same direction. So maybe, you know, come from this side on, like the top on this side, and then the top on that side on the next one, and just kind of make them be sporadic all throughout there. You can put as many or as little as you want. Just being sporadic is the main thing. The next step is to cut your pecs or pipe, whatever you got. Uh, I'm going to cut them probably four or five feet long, four feet maybe, something like that. And uh, I'm just going to cut a bunch of them. And then you take it like that and you put it in the hole that you drilled. Super easy. And then you just do all of them. 
I put them maybe four to six inches apart and uh, I like to have some of them that have close ones and some of them that have far ones. So I'm gonna build another one just like this, but it's gonna be a lot closer. So, uh, you know, that way the smaller fish will probably congregate towards that. And as they get bigger, they'll have somewhere where there's a little more freedom and they can swim a little better. And, uh, you know, the fish will be able to hunt better around different ones, whatever. So uh, I like to just mix it up. So I'm gonna build one that's tight and one that's a little more loose. The last thing we're gonna do before we go put this in the water is to take our flat disc with our uh, grinder and just hit all this real quick. We're not trying to like get everything, but these are real smooth and algae will grow on them, but it'll take a long time. So if we can rough it up, then that'll get stuff on there quicker. So I'm gonna show you the finished product. And then the last thing that we've got to do is to go sink these things. We got the rope tied to that tree, that rope tied to this rope, which is tied around the two by 10 that we got holding the tire on top of the pallet, which is on top of the back of the boat. And then we've got a rope tied to the front of the boat, tied to another rope that Ram's taking over to the other side of the pond where my ranger's gonna be. And then we're gonna hook this rope to the rope on my ranger and take off. Uh, so that's the plan. See how it goes. New plan. The boat sank. I didn't have it on video because I wasn't ready yet. We were just trying to get it shoved off just a little bit and it sank. So we may try it again in a minute on the other one and put the tire more in the middle. We're just gonna see how this goes. The tire's already there and uh, he's not really getting that out of the way. So we tied us a, uh, just a, like a, a big loop knot over the tire so that we can undo the shackle and pull the rope out from under it. And we're just gonna try to hoss the ranger and kind of get this tire on plane until it gets to where we want it to be and then stop and hopefully it'll just sit down right there. So that's the goal. We got Ram all the way across with a rope and we're fixing to give it a go. Watch out Willie, get away from it. Now for round two, we've got the ranger with a strap, a pull, like a tow rope, another long rope, another rope, and the fish attractor back there by Willie. So uh, we're going to try to ski this thing across the water just like that last one. All right, folks, well, there it is. We are down at the pond. Uh, this is a couple months later after we have installed or sunk our fish attractors. And uh, you can see the tops of them. You can't see them right now because it's real early in the morning. It's foggy down here, or not foggy, steamy. Uh, but you know, in the middle of the day, evenings, you can see the fish attractors and you can see a bunch of fish swimming all around them. So hope this helped you guys. And uh, enjoy the video if you did, like and subscribe. See you next time.